Hi, this is Mrs. A. Get out your core boards, communication apps, or devices. I'd like to share a story with you. It's called A Little Spot of Kindness. While I'm reading this story, you will see core words show up on the screen. Those are suggested core words that you can use to have a conversation about what is happening in the book. This book is read with permission from the author, Diane Alber. She has written many other books and you may find them on Amazon or on her website. She also encourages you to follow her on Instagram or Facebook. To my children, Ryan and Anna, always try to be kind each and every day. My name is Spot. And I'm not just an ordinary spot. I'm a little spot of kindness. I've never seen a spot of kindness before. What is a spot of kindness? A spot of kindness has a sticky back. The reason my back is sticky is so I can help kindness stick to you. Whoa. Take a look at what Spot said on this page. I have highlighted some of the words with a marker and I've written some extra words next to them. Those are words that I can use on the core board or on the communication app to help talk about what Spot is saying. You can do the same thing with any storybook that you read. If you think you need help to find your core words, highlight them with a marker or underline them with a pencil or pen. I come in so many colors because the easier I can be spotted, the easier it will be to remind you to be kind. Did you know that every time you are kind, a layer of happiness is added to your heart and to the hearts of others? And since you both have the power to make good choices, you can start making the choice to be kind. I know sometimes it's hard to remember to be kind, and that's why I'm here to help. All you need to do is place a spot on your hand, just like that. Now every time you spot me, do something kind. I can't draw. This looks horrible. Don't you know that all great art starts with a scribble? I see it's working already. Great job using encouraging words when someone is feeling sad. Remember, being supportive is being kind. Can I please play with your dinosaur? Sure you can. Thank you for asking. That's wonderful that you're sharing toys. Remember, sharing is being kind. Saying hello to someone who is alone is a great way to be kind. Remember, being friendly is being kind. I'm so lonely. Hello, would you like to play? Saying please when you want something is one of the easiest ways to be kind. Remember, being polite is being kind. May I have some more water, please? Sometimes being kind can be hard, like when you break something by accident. But this is a perfect time to be kind. Remember, Apologizing is being kind. My favorite pink crayon. I'm sorry I broke your crayon. It was an accident. Do you need help? Yes, please. Thank goodness there was someone there to lend a helping hand. Remember, 
Helping is being kind. It's always fun to make messes, but it can be hard to clean them up. Remember, cleaning up after yourself is being kind. Waiting in line can be difficult, but not getting upset is a great way to be kind. Remember, being patient is being kind. Now grab a little spot of kindness so you too can remember to be kind. Now that we've read this story about kindness, I'd like you to use your core board, communication app or device and talk about how you can be kind. Or maybe when someone was kind to you.